feel free to jump in. You're the expert, sir. <laughs> Thanks. Well, let me let me let me uh, set up this next semifinal. Can you stay with us for just a few minutes more. Of course. I saw you get in the commentary there. That was pretty interesting. <laughs> Couldn't help it. <laughs> when he sat, when Steven sat down, he said, "I'm not going to do any commentary, right?" <laughs> feel free to jump in. You're the expert, sir. <laughs> Thanks. All right, here in the second semifinal of the male under 68 kilogram, we've got Martin Stamper of Great Britain in blue against Servet Tazgul of Turkey in red. You're going to see a lot of action from this is Turkish guy. He's won the European Championships and uh, the Paris Open. Scored a point on that one. I think it was a turning kick, so the, the refs are probably going to discuss whether to add the technical point. Stamper, Martin Stamper, comes off a gold medal at the U.S. Open and the German Open this year. Yep, and the refs do award the technical point. It's nice to see the referees catch a mistake and, and work to fix it before it gets to any protest or review. <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, Extra point. Yeah, you're right, Stephen. He's an active player. Very exciting. <laughs> so what have you seen as, uh, as changes to our support? But let's, let's wait for in between rounds on that one, but that'll be a point for discussion. They do add the extra point, so it's four to nothing. Tazagul over Stamper. Nice. Triple nice. kick. Scoring on everything. It's seven to nothing. Uh, the Turkish player over Great Britain. Tazgul was was seated second, and he's ranked second in the world. Stamper came out of the elimination bracket here to get to the semifinal. Wow. A good turn back kick by uh, by Tazgul on Stamper's round uh, rear leg or off the line round kick. He, he draws it with his spinning, doesn't he? Yeah, he sure does. He's trap it. Yeah. It's his third back kick. Oh. Uh. Usually players stop after that uh, the initial spin. They don't turn. They don't uh, attempt to spin the other way. He called it on that man. He's excited. So, um, what? What? You know, during your. 2001, 2000 being your first Olympic medal and 2001 being your world championships, first world championship medal. Uh, what kind of changes have you seen in the in the sport of Taekwondo? Yeah, especially with these electronic uh, chest protectors, you see a lot of the fighters turning into the front leg, uh, kind of standing back, and, and a lot more punches are being used as well because punches are being scored a lot more. And of course, now with uh, three points being awarded to head, uh, kicks to the head, a lot more players are, are going for the three points to the head because now it's a little more difficult to score to the body because it has to have the right pressure as well as the right sensors uh, landing correctly. And so it's kind of difficult actually scoring to the body nowadays. And so it's almost worth it more going for the face because it is three points and you get rewarded. Right, right. Do you think it's add, added to our game? Do you think it's improved the game? Um, to be quite honest, I mean, th this Turkish guy is... is uh, an anomaly I think but for the most part I think it's slowed the game down but as you can see here it hasn't changed it much for him yeah yeah Stamper comes out with a attacking double and uh, is rewarded with the body kick he'll get a point added because of spinning not mm -hmm. a oh thank you There's the benefit of coach of miking the coaches. Stop. 
So it's nine to two, Tazgul over Stamper. The winner of this match will, will meet Mutamed Bagheri of Iran, the current world champion. A good, good try by Stamper. That back kick. There's a jump back kick off of Stamper's attack. So it's 11 to 2. It's a half point, I think, for falling down. Stamper tried to knot a bond that uh, Taz Gould, I think, got an arm in front of. Ten seconds left in the second round. Come on. And at the end of the second round, it's 11 to two. Servet Tazgul of Turkey over Martin Stamper, Great Britain. Stephen, uh, what do you attribute um, as some of the keys to your to your success? Is it your training program? Is it your 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 dietary standards that you hold for yourself? Is it uh, you know some magical thing that you have inside you, Stephen? What what kind of things can you help our, our people out there with? You know, it, it's really a um, accumulation of, of all those things and, and more. I think uh, having a family who all have a common goal and, and dream, which is to be the best in the sport. Um, definitely is one of the stronger points. I have my older brother who's an Olympic and national team coach who, who to me is, is and this I might be biased, but one of the best coaches in the world. Um, you know, when you're in a high pressure situation like the World Championships or the Olympic Games, you need someone in that coach chair who you know believes in you and who knows you like the back of his hand and who else to have in your coach's chair besides your brother. And having my siblings as well on the national team with me that gives me strength and no matter what part of the world I may be competing in, I always feel I have home court advantage because I do have my family competing with me. Excellent, excellent. Okay, round three, the second male semifinal of the under 68 kilogram category. Servet Tazgul is up 11 to two over Martin Stamper. Show of it. Short chop and follow. Good, good, good. Dan, short chop to make him move back. Now you made an exclamation there. Was uh, was he in danger of getting? Uh, that, uh, if he would have really thrown that spinning hook kick, I think it could have yes. uh, connected. Yes. It's a kyungo for Stamper. Uh, I think for delaying. Taking his equipment off. Oh, that's an eight count. He should be an eight count. It's over. It's that 12 point gap that they have after the second round. I'm not and sure why the coach is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the same hey, thing, Steve. It's worth a try, right? <laughs> the match is over, and you've got a card. Why leave it in your pocket? Yeah. <laughs> that was a hard hit. 
That was a good hook kick. Now you called it right before. The Turk doesn't uh, sit on the lead, does he? No, he does not. And, and that's amazing. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how many fights he's had, but to have that much energy that following day because, I mean, everything kind of sets in after you've had three, four, or five matches to sleep on it. You feel the bumps and bruises the next morning. So for him to be able to perform at this level and have that much output is pretty amazing. Yeah. Let's see how he does in the finals. Yes. That's going to be a good final sure against is. the Iranian. Uh, so the winner is uh, Servet. Taz Gould over Martin Stamper. Um, the card that was thrown <laughs> it was not upheld and, and didn't make up the 13 or 15 point difference. That front leg kind of kind of drew the the round kick attack, right? Should have been an eight count. I think you're right about that. For the safety of the player, I think yeah. maybe we should have we should have had an eight count there. Any suggestions? Uh, you know, you know, I, I want to make an observation. I I don't think I I talked to you about it, but we've been talking about it.